Carrie. Carrie, you're really prophetic, Carrie. And, uh, not prophetic, wow. prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell us what the Lord's doing. Well, uh, well, we've been in full-time ministry for eight years, and seven of those eight years for me was horrible. And we came to the Party Is Here conference last year, and Melinda Fish said it's the party to go. So we took the party to go. And, uh, and we, we have been um, in, the, in the night season for, uh, for three years. It was in the tomb for three years. I'm telling you, last year when we just got touched, he took the morning off and the heaviness off and just gave us such joy. And we just took it to go. And we had these meetings. The Lord told me on the way back I needed to stop at a winery. And so I was driving, and I saw a sign that said, Angel's Gate Winery. <sighs> and that was the place where we went and received an impartation. And there was a sign that said, Tasting Rooms Are Open. And so the Lord, Scripture on Psalm 34 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. And blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. So we had gotten to a place where it was so hard that we had to take refuge in the wine cellar. <laughs> Song of Solomon 2.4 says that he brought me to his banqueting table and Vine's Dictionary says that that's the wine cellar and his banner over me was love. So that's what started happening. A bunch of us went to get together and it was very strong drink. You couldn't speak. I mean, people wanted to know, what do you do? Well, well people just come over and, and we just love on each other and we just jump right in. And intoxication, just, he's just pouring out his wine. And so many testimonies were coming about the Lord um, really touching people and giving them that childlike heart again. And the kingdom belongs to the children. Mm. So lots of little prophetic games started happening. And... We sense that we're in transition, and um, we have four kids, so we have lots of toys in our house. The oldest is nine, so, and we have three boys, so we have lots of guns in our house. <laughs> and so uh, we started shooting each other in the back. Because when you're in labor, when you're in transition, sometimes you need spiritual epidurals. When you're birthing destiny. Ah! So we get a lot of the toys out and just childlike faith. And, and the interns, we told people, feel free to bring your interns. So the interns would minister to the people who came to the meetings. And so that was going on for a year. And it's a cell group in our church. Oh, and yeah, so, so, so John came and, you know, I was always worried about what are the neighbors going to think? And, and, uh, John was coming and you know how those parties in the world are. People tell and people show up. You don't even know who they are. They come to the big party. So that, uh, that, that time we had John, I saw this in the garage the caution tape and I just said oh, I gotta throw caution to the wind I gotta throw caution to the wind so I tied it on the mailbox to let myself be free to let the Lord do what he wanted to do because fear of man can really stop you from doing what the Lord's called you to do so now this is tied on the antenna of our cars to remind us to throw caution to the wind so 75 people showed up that night, and it was the sound. The sound of the party was heard from blocks away in our neighborhood. People were blasted. And do you know what happened? A harvest angel showed up at our party. And I'm believing that this is first fruits because some people say, well, what's all this drunkenness for? Well, in Acts chapter 2, there was, there was wind, and there was fire, and there was tongues, and there was also a manifestation of drunkenness 
And at the end of the day, 3,000 people got saved. So I am believing that the fish will bite with the new wine. And that, that, that day at our party, two high school graduates heard the sound of the party and they walked in our backyard wanting to know where the party was and what was going on. They, they came in because of the sound of the party, drew them there. And I said, we're not drunk as you suppose, but this is the new wine. And so one of them gave his heart back to the Lord and the other one, our group, we started praying over him and he starts swaying and going, oh, this is weird, we're Christians. <laughs> so, so that's what happened at the tasting rooms.